Not even he's not even a Nintendo fan, so he's not a character loyalist. Uh -huh. He's he's a PlayStation guy. Yeah. He told me I was like, oh okay. <laughs> like so, why are you playing DK? But we're gonna get into this next set. Meteor. That's not how you spell it. Versus Mega. Ah, <laughs> uh, Meteor. <laughs> Meteor. 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 There we I go. think the uh, <laughs> the E is silent. It's a uh, Meteor. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, so Mega versus Meteor. Uh, Meteor, one of the. Ooh. The like the legacy, you know, yeah. really top players in Southern California. Yeah, previously playing uh, Sonic, I believe he still plays Sonic in this game, but he has also been playing Wolf a lot, and that's what like he's everybody known in the in world. He's uh, getting that hey, Wolf man. online. I'm not just everybody, bro. I was, I was in, I was in before the hype, all right? Yeah. Well, everybody was in before the hype. I'm, I'm sure. I'm positive. Oh, I'm, I'm, I know you I'm were, but everybody else, uh, everyone else, is a little suspect. I know you were there from the beginning. Um, but uh, as we were saying, you know, uh, looks like Mega oh. representing UCI. Oh, oh there's uh, speaking of Mega, there's some damage right there, and they're going into man. How do we follow up that last game? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, don't, like, I don't know, man. But right. I mean, Incineroar <laughs> has got the juice yeah. to, for sure. Some, something hype is about to happen, and he does have the revenge mechanic. Right. Not only does the character already just hit so hard. He, he he can stack lasers, and you can see um, Meteor's actually not even going for the blasters right. a lot because that's just like a free a free revenge. And if you get the max multiplier in revenge, it's three times the damage. Yeah, and then you start seeing insane. stocks fly away, disappear, insane. fly away very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Like Incinero has always reminded me, you know, pardon me if you're below 21 or, uh, you know, not a college partier. It always reminded me of the beer pong character. Yeah. Like, you know, he gets heated up. <laughs> He's on fire. You just give him the ball back. Just keep shooting until he misses. The does man, all the damage. The man's takes literally away all on the cups. fire, bro. <laughs> That's what uh, Incinero has always reminded me of. Oh, my God. The shield's getting tiny. Able to battle his way out of the corner, and he's in business now, doing some big damage. No revenge needed, and yeah. the, it's still going. He's right back into this game, and that's what we're talking about with, with uh, Incineroar. I mean, the percentage, the amount of stocks, it rarely matters with this character. He can bring it back no matter what. He, an excellent read from uh, Meteor with the up smash, catching the roll in. Um, that move is going to be so useful. The Darkest Lariat yeah. it comes out really fast, and it just like has a multi-hitbox. So. Yeah, he's using that of roll, kind of very reminiscent of the old Smash 4 Bowser's using Whirly Fortress in yeah. those situations, you know. And that still works in this game, too. <laughs> I think it's a little worse, but it might uh, even be, I think it might even be, it might be better. At uh, Meteor, you know, kind of taking Mega's best shots and still standing the test and still in the lead. It's kind of very methodical play, nothing too crazy, nothing, you know, nothing, nothing overly spectacular, just doing enough and doing what it takes to win. <laughs> Roll the down okay. smash, you know, it's like Brawl 2008 Mennonite Wi-Fi coming through, and he takes that first game. Yeah, Meteor, really solid stuff, a nice two stock for him. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what much else um, the, uh, Mega can really do <laughs> in the set, in the, right. in, the, in the matchup. He's, it's just, it's kind of hard, like Wolf. Wolf is a good character. Out. Yeah, yeah. Can, can get in and out really fast, even if he's not using uh, the laser or the blaster. The one thing I will say is that Mega was doing a really good job when he was in disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, he would, like, wait for Meteor to land on his shield or whatever and then just react with the uh, Darkest Lariat and get yeah. a, lot of, a lot of his damage that way. But it, it was always in disadvantage, as I mentioned. So yeah. you got to find a way to, like, uh, condition Meteor here to get the hits that he wants, especially that um, Alolan Whip, that's the uh, side special, which um, actually just kills ridiculously early. And you get three different, like, options, right? You can either, like, not time the uh, second hit. And there's the Darkest Lariat coming out. Uh, or excuse me, the alone whip. You cannot time it, which will get like a uh, like a whiff hitbox. That's really good for gimping. So against Wolf, that might be a good thing. See if it comes into play. Down tilt up air. Now one of the things that I've been seeing coming out from Mega as a player has been kind of he puts himself in situations where it looked, you know, it's it's very seemingly punishable, like with a lot of his roll habits and things like that. Yeah. But it requires precision on Meteor's part. And there have been a lot of situations where Meteor just hasn't had that precision to punish it, but more often than not, Meteor has been able to take care of the situations. And I kind of wonder if that's kind of just the game plan overall for Mega playing the character that he does play, that he capitalizes. It's one of those, hey, if you're going to win, you're going to have to win it the hard, you know, the old-fashioned way and make it happen. Gets that back throw and takes the stock. Yeah, that's a um, super strong throw. It's one of the strongest throw uh, back throws in the game for uh, 
from Incineroar here. And, uh, oh, down throw to forward smash. That was definitely not true. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> it looked true enough. You know, sometimes there's those combos. True, it was true on DIN, I guess. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, there's things that are guaranteed and there are things that are close enough to matter. So <laughs> it's one of those. Yeah, it's close enough. Let's go for it kind of a situation. It was those sick. are my favorite. I, I loved it. <laughs> That's where the games won and lost, by and large. You know, guaranteed is guaranteed. And, that exists, and you know sometimes the tier list doesn't oh, care, oh, or the matchup doesn't care. But sometimes those, you know, that's where the real player creativity comes in. It's those situations that it's just close enough to oh, be a it. thing, but it's oh, not. Oh, he messed, messed up the little bit. Yeah, With but it cleans up the stock yeah. anyway. Or, excuse me, the forward tilt. That's actually such a uh, great kill. Earlier, uh, he almost got a setup off of the uh, down tilt into the forward tilt, but he uh, pressed the forward tilt a little bit too early, so it just barely whiffed. Yeah. We're going to first uh, lead here for Mega, 74% on his second stock, and he's got a quite amount of damage. All on, that out of shield work. On just Meteor. putting it in the work. Back throw here from Meteor. All right. He's going to shield that. That thing is so reactable. <laughs> the cross chop. Um, still pretty, like, good option. I mean, to his credit, he hadn't done that yet the entire uh, oh, oh entire game. And he went for it again. He's just, I do not care. That's that's one of the privileges and luxuries of playing with the lead. Yeah. You know, you can take you, you can oh. afford to take risks like that and maybe try to open up your opponent yeah. and get in their head so that later game, if you need to recover to the ledge, he has to respect that early up special so that clears up the ledge and you're able to you know navigate that situation later on. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good risk to take. Only with the lead. If you have, if you don't have the lead and you go for that stuff, that's a quick way to lose the match. So. Yeah, he basically he he lost the stock to taking one of those risks. I mean, he went for the uh, Alolan whip at the ledge, which would have actually. Oh, wow, there it is. That ooh. setup we were talking about, so nice. I'm I'm putting that one in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. I play a little bit of Incineroar, so I like that. <laughs> I've seen the vids. Uh, <laughs> I just have it. I've yet, the, I've yet to two frame up. Uh, map them at the ledge <laughs> and just uh, give them the beat down, pretty much. For sure, yeah. All right, so we got one one. Uh, Meteor, you know, just kind of a little a little stunned after that because he was in firm control of the first match. But as I was saying, you know. Mega, it looks like just kind of as a player style, he puts himself in these situations that see that are seemingly punishable. Again, requires precisions on precision on Meteor's part, and if he's not able to rise to the occasion, that's trouble. And that's where Mega's getting all the mileage and putting a big damage, and then you know, all of a sudden, you know, Incineroar is winning, the world's gone crazy, Wolf is and, losing. And you're absolutely uh, right, Lux. I mean, one of the key reasons that. Meteor has to be precise is that if he isn't precise, yeah. there's an opportunity right there where he gets red, and that's an easy revenge, uh, a counter to boost the damage on the next attack that right. Incineroar has. In a lot of cases, if he has one revenge, one or two but even, you can you look at lose the stock at near 0% off of a Lolan Web. Down throw to fair. That is a true combo for Incineroar at the lower percents. Yeah, just look, that, that, that move just keeps eating up all the aerials you see. Meteor not quite sure how to handle it. He's trying to land a neutral air, landing back air, and he just keeps spinning the win, you know, and it just goes right through. <laughs> Seems like it's gone a couple of times. Probably frustrating for Meteor overall. For sure. Dancing around in the neutral right here. Um, Meteor not trying to overextend too much. He is trailing a little bit. And you can see uh, Mega just like scooting forward, as he should, trying to regain uh, the stage. And, that, and that's like his. Uh, his biggest tool really is to impose a threat onto Meteor and force him to scoot back. Oh my god, not gonna die off the top. Wolf splash, uh, <laughs> just knocking uh, Incineroar into the ground, bouncing him off the stage. And you can see uh, already Meteor is kind of, you know, he, I don't want to make it sound like it's a, a derogatory comment, but you can kind of, it looks like he's kind of reverting back to the old school Sonic play <laughs> that we're used to. He's in these pressure situations and Rather than kind of playing, you know, pressing the aggression, he's fading back and trying to play, you know, really fine uh, oh. full back air off. Oh, can't tech that. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> untechable, especially with such high percent and such a high damage uh, or high knockback move. He's going to recover onto the stage. So much lag there. Easy up air for Mega. But you're absolutely right. And I mean, I could just say Meteor is just playing smart. He's, right. he's playing the passive game, which is honestly like optimal against this character. You cannot. You, you, you always have to res respect him. He's like a he's kind of like a Ganon in in that regard. It just uh, makes he has to also make sure that he does not overshoot that fine line that is playing uh, smart. Oh. To play, oh. Oh. <laughs> 
All right. What well, wasn't smart is Mega's recovery in <laughs> yeah, that, that situation. Was, uh... He overextended past the ledge and an easy down smash for Meteor coming through. He's got such a huge lead in this game number three. Mega on his last stock now. Up smash going to get him some success. A neutral air out of shield. And he's got Meteor at the ledge. Yeah, it might have been a giant. It might have been a giant. Oh my God, the shield! The shield! Tiny. I thought I saw the shield break, but then he got hit again. Or <laughs> like that was nasty. Hey, shield stabs happen uh, so often in this game. It's just you know sometimes you wonder uh, what was worse, shield Smash 64 or Ultimate? <laughs> yeah. Smash 64 is worse, but <laughs> the fact that you have to think about it oh for a God. second it says a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're going right. You know, they're back into it. Of course, uh, Meteor just playing it smart, as we were saying. You know, it doesn't look like he's. Oh, cross that fine line from smart play to passive or tentative play. He's just exerting his will now on the matchup while not over committing. You know, just letting the game come to him, and he knows that Mega's got a lot oh, of work to pick up, and yep. that should probably do it. <laughs> yep, there's no way. That's that. That's worse than Lil Max recovery <laughs> right there. That's it's the one place that Incineroar should not be. It's, it's below Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no way in hell he's making that back. But really nice stuff. Uh, Meteor closing that set two. One in his favor, and Mega taking a dip into...